Although the Khitan still demand periodic tributes, we have pushed them back to the Yellow River. Fortunately, their occupation of Kaifeng was not destructive, and the city has already recovered. Having reviewed the results of the most recent examinations, the Emperor has chosen you to oversee the future development of Kaifeng. He expects it to soon become a cultural center unsurpassed in the world. Return to the classical teachings of Confucius and ensure that all learned people study his ways. Respect to the animals of the land. The emperor has set aside his own palace grounds as a park for creatures from all over China. Fill the park with at least six exotic species. In science and technology, our achievements grow more impressive each day. Our emperor's collection of scholarly books and encyclopedias includes 80,000 volumes. Wonderful devices such as the compass, abacus, and spinning wheel can be found all over our city. Su Song has drawn up amazing plans for an astronomical clock tower. Please help him achieve his goal. Finally, a new threat, the Sha Sha Empire is rising in the West. Our continued policy of appeasement of our enemies with the riches of our land should keep them at bay as it has the Khitan. Good luck, wise governor. You are presiding over the greatest city in the world, unsurpassed in its culture. Do not disappoint the Emperor. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. We're here in the luxuries of Kai Feng, in the invaders from the north, in the Song Jin campaign. And uh, this looks uh, to be a pretty straightforward one. Clock tower must be built, six menagerie animal types required, population of 5,000, 100 people in heavenly compound or better, and we are of course going for perfect feng shui on a very hard difficulty. So let's go ahead and go to the city. Slow the game down and let us review where we were. This We're returning to a city here. And it's, uh, it's one we already kind of really developed. If you remember this from a couple missions ago, this is where we put all of these silkworm sheds inside these walls because of feng shui, because we can't put anything in there because there's no rocks. So that we can't get perfect feng shui for these guys, the safe, uh, the what, inspector's towers. We have this lovely housing area on the left, which we built too close to the edge of the map where we can't wall it off, but uh, military hasn't been too much of an issue because we have uh, a ton of military units here coming back because we are conquering other lands. Now, one uh, change is trading. So, Chizhou, Associated City, is not trading. You know, we have Chengdu, not trading. We have Guangzhou, not trading. And I think we have one more trading spot here. Pingyao, still trading. So that's, uh, we just got to look at the map here. We're here in Kaifeng, currently trading with Pingyao and Lin An. So one city's actually gone, which I think it is this one, Chizhou, which we were importing wood and tea. So we basically need to find another, we can buy tea right here in Chengdu. Wait, is Chengdu still on the map? Because Chizhou is not. Yeah. So let's just request to open trade with Chengdu, open trade with Jiangling, open trade with Guangzhou, and the Xia, Xia Empire. I'm going to send a spy to sabotage their military, and the Liao Empire. I'm going to send a spy to sabotage their military. All of that going straight away. Good. Let's unpause the game, have it run. We're a little low on cash, 23,000. Uh, doesn't seem very low, but generally we should be making plenty. If I look at our taxes, it's 17,000 a year. Looking at how much we made, total income last year was 23,000. So we spent pretty much... Yeah, okay, the balance, 25,000. Current year, it's February now. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll make plenty of money. For our military units, they're all returning from conquering foreign lands. And looking at the goals here... We already have 100 people in Heavenly Compound. We have 200 actually. Population 5,000 and the Clock Tower. So we need to boost our population. Currently we have 2% unemployed workforce. These houses, they need a Taoist building. But I think I can just go ahead and... 
you know, place a bunch of houses along these roads. Right? I already set up this housing area the last time we were here, so it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just do there, there, and then across the way, like that. That should be enough houses. Each house here holds 63 occupants. I just put down 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like 20 ish houses there. Good. These troops, they're not getting back home correctly. I've remembered how to select multiple units here. Chengdu grateful for wheat. Apparently, I sent them wheat. Okay. Uh, let's send everyone back here. You select a military fort, then you can. Box select. I forgot. That's a spy. My cover is blown. Hide and quickly. Okay, now, uh, we do need to build a monument. So we have um, here, if I check here, you have no monuments. Oh, sorry, I gotta place down the clock tower. So there's a nice patch of grass there. I think that's the best spot for it. Everywhere else is kind of a little weird. Employees needed. It's okay. People are moving in. And we have six, eight heavenly compounds. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Um, let me go ahead and just extend the road out here. We're gonna have a clock tower placed... Like here, that looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna have the clock tower go there. Actually, I'll have the clock tower go right up against the road like this yes right there and then we can do the road going around don't want to do this yeah this should work aesthetic road grand way along there grand way along here we're gonna straight away make it look pretty grand way all the way around the clock tower it's gonna look fantastic uh, Guangzhou, Jiangling, Chengdu, all opens up. Great. Um, so I did set this to buying tea. Let's limit how much we're buying here. 20 of each, 24 of each, 20 of each. Yeah. Uh, so we're getting this tea because Qizhou, we also need wood. Where else can we get wood from? Who opened up? Who sells wood? Jiangling. Okay. That's a new trade route. Trading keys? No, trading station. Fits right there. Buying wood. Okay. So that covers the stuff we need. What else do we need? This needs wood, stone, steel. We've got steel because we make weapons. Wood, stone. I think I, yeah, it's here. We've got to buy stone right here. Make sure we start getting some stone imported. And then we need Monument, Construction Guild, Carpenter's Guild. Can I just place it right there? Yeah, I get like two Carpenter's Guilds down. Mason's Guild. We need rocks. Can I just have them here? Put two Mason's Guilds right there. Hook that up. Make sure this doesn't collapse. Okay. Is that connected by road? Yes. Good. So they'll get there eventually. Guilds don't collapse. Do they not collapse? I don't know. I think guilds can. I'm not too sure. That's fine. Uh, okay. So that's everything sorted for the monument. Besides that, what did we need? Population of 5,000. That will slowly start coming in here, but let us do some decorations. Throw down some trees. Throw down some recreational areas. Can I? Do I want to put a. No, I don't really want to. Let's give you guys a Tai Chi park. Right in the middle there. Yeah. with bridge right there that looks good yeah garden up the gaps uh, 
There we go. Uh, that should get us all the people we need. 45 workers needed. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Stone is already being delivered. Look at that. The clock tower is on the way. Uh, besides that, we do need the menagerie animals. So let us get... All right. There's two cities here. There's three cities down here. Oh, no. There's three cities here. So there's three... Looking at the climates, the dark green, the, the light green, and then there's the, uh, the desert. And basically, you can't really gift animals to... Uh, to the same region. They don't like it as much. So I think I need to get two animals. So I need to make two cities happy with gifts. These guys want... Spices, wheat, fish, this silk. We're selling silk to Pingyao. Okay, they're agreeable. Let's send a gift of silk. Sixteen to Pingyao. Okay, and from the southern regions, Lin'an. Ah, Jiangling likes weapons, so let us send weapons to Jiangling. There we go. So those two cities will be very happy with us. We'll ask them for um, animals. This area is looking nice. Great. I have two food markets for this housing block. Yes. Um, probably don't need that. Also. How many... Music schools we have. One, two, three, four. Acrobats. One, two, three. Where's that house... Unoccupied. That's odd. I feel like we don't have enough entertainers going around. Let's throw down music school. Can I fit this? Maybe if I get rid of some of these trees. Fancy road can fix that. You know, let's make it an imperial way. So you cross this road, you get a fancy road. Cross the bridge, rather. There. That looks good. Perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, two food markets. This is uh, just for stability, I think. Mixed vegetable stir, yeah. Okay, how are the gods feeling? Shenlong is angry, so let's give him weapons. 16. Joyful. Great. And look at that, the clock tower is on the way. Shenlong arrives. Okay, well, I don't really need you, but it's fine. You can hang out. Clock tower on the way. Also, I want to go to Jiangling and... Uh, re demand... Wait, I can't ask them for an animal? How do I get an animal? Oh, they have to be admiring to request an animal. Okay, so I gotta wait for those gifts to arrive. That's fine. Food all looking great. Resources all looking stable. Yeah, there's not too much we have to do right now. I think this is all fine. Let's just garden up our industrial area, because why not? Can we get that to evolve? Pingyao grateful for silk. Jiangling grateful for weapons. Great. How do you feel about me now? Admiring. Request goods. Request animal. Jungling, request goods, request animal. There we go. Let's get two animals from the middle region and the southern region. Then we can just gift them to everyone. Ah. Mm. 
clock tower should go along pretty quick. Uh, let me go ahead and decorate this. What I what I wanted to do. Spy reverse, great. Scholars, we can't put scholars here. Nobles, we can put nobles. All right, I wanted to do this, where I put rows of. Can I? No, you can't click and drag these. I wanted to do this. Happy New Year? Sure, let's celebrate. Year of the Tiger. Good. Uh, so all these nobles are gonna be doing that Frollo thing towards a clock tower. <laughs> and then we can... You know, I don't want to do fancy trees here. Can I, I wanna do other things? What else can I do? Did I use residential walls here? Red residential walls, ground, tan. Tan? I don't know. Not sure if there's a way I can make this look nice. Maybe if I just wrap the whole thing in tan walls and then surround it all with just gardens. Not too bad, not too bad. Out here. I can decorate that. Oh, that graphic does not work, huh? <laughs> the layering of the graphic. Is it true for all of them? Yeah. work okay fine grand way it is okay ah, clock tower should be going along quite nicely we're waiting on the animals population is 4100 these all fill up no no housing we have housing for 700 people and we have five percent unemployment ping yao gives me a pheasant thank you and Jiangling gives me a pheasant as well? That's unlucky. We just have pheasants now. Alright, well, let's... Once we have an animal, we can send it to everyone. So let's just give a gift of pheasant to everyone. Including our enemies. Chengdu, Guangzhou, Lin'an. Alright, and we'll just see what animals make our way <laughs> over. <laughs> uh, uh, possibly a bug with sending an animal request to multiple places. Yeah, do pheasants exist in both of these climates? Usually, games sort of separate how those work, but... So, can I do that? That looks good. Perfect feng shui. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is a very chill mission, isn't it? Filling gaps with gardens. Just making things look nice. <laughs> Maybe we overdid our preparedness for this mission. I, s I suppose the main challenge was supposed to be get getting heavenly compounds, but it wasn't too hard to just get these up to here, was it? I gotta stop building elite blocks near the river, it really cramps things up. Mm. Out of Caesar 3, Emperor and Pharaoh, which I think is best... I think Pharaoh is kind of the best game. Emperor is the most refined, but there's 
so much broken with its military. Uh, so I think I, I would say Pharaoh is the best game. Caesar 3 is the favorite. Everyone, everyone likes Caesar 3, <laughs> right? I wish it had monuments, but you know. Um, Caesar 3 is very nostalgic and stuff. Uh, So I would say Pharaoh or Emperor is the best, depending on the style you want, because uh, Zeus and Emperor have the 2x2 two two, uh, house tiles that you put, uh, house squares that you put down, but whereas Caesar 3 and Pharaoh still have the, the loose tiles and the houses that grow bigger. The Liao Empire refuses the entry of your emissary. I don't think I've ever seen that. The Xia Xia Empire, grateful for pheasant. Lin An, don't especially need a pheasant. Neither does Chengdu. Lin An or Chengdu. Maybe everywhere down here does have pheasants. Huh. Clock tower is going along very quickly. Yeah, we're almost there. It's almost done. Yeah, Zeus is the easiest. As far as I've experienced, Zeus is the easiest. I hear Poseidon has some difficulties and trickiness. We have 11% unemployment. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, is that what's slowing our... Oh, we, we have a money printer now. Right. Guangzhou, grateful for peasant. Okay, money printer. We can put money printer down here. And to boost that up, let us go to industry and go to paper makers. And you know, just drop two paper makers down. We got paper money now. Look at that. Alright, so we can start doing that. Uh, are we taxing here? Are we not taxing here? Tax office. Bam. Okay, that looks good. Clock tower. Turning out okay. Continue decorating, possibly. Just throw a few things in there to break up the pattern so you don't get these large rocks constantly. <laughs> there we go. That looks nice. Just trying to get that screenshot, you know? For the thumbnail. <laughs> uh. This is such a chill mission compared to so many others in this campaign. This has been so straightforward. It's really nice. Foreign emissary arrives from Guangzhou. Permit a wild pig. Thank you. So we have a wild pig now, which I guess I can send that to... Pingyao and Jiangling, maybe? Those who give us pheasants, so we can give them wild pigs. It's the round wayside pavilion, right? There you go. Filled. Fill all the gaps and you get your screenshot. <laughs> this game looks best when there's no empty tiles. Right? Like here, it's just filled. Gotta play more Age of Empires. Yeah, well, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition is on the way. If you're watching this in the future, it's probably already released. Happy New Year, you're the rabbit. Let's celebrate. 
And after the lessons I learned from Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, I expect 3 to go pretty well. Look at all the boulders around the clock tower. Oh, right, this is a problem. Yeah, we can't have... That looks bad. I hate these large boulders. Let's just do that. Can I throw down cherry trees? Looks a little off. Mismeasured. There we go. Problem solved. This clock tower is shorter than I expected. I thought it would be like up to here. It's no, it's just like how many stories do you think that is like? That's one story? That can't be one story. Then again, that staircase there is rather short. Is this like four, five, six... Six, seven stories, I guess, at most? How many... We've only got two animals. Can we make someone else... Yes, yeah, they need silk weapons tea. Let's send our enemies tons of weapons. Yeah. Let's let's give our enemies tons of weapons while we sabotage their military. <laughs> yeah, sending the gifts one at a time. Yeah. Jiangling, grateful for the wild pig. Pig Yao, grateful for the wild pig. Some things might be overlapping or something. How far along is this monument? It just needs two stone, and then it's done? 16% unemployment, that is not great. We have housing for another 156 people, which should get us to our, almost to our target population. Um, what do I do with all this extra population? The money print is going. I don't need anything else. We build a trading key to Lina. Really useful. Oh, they're finishing the clock tower. We can watch that while I figure out what I want to build. I mean, I guess I can just... Ooh, from Jiangling. A panda! I didn't know there were pandas. No, no, I suppose, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, from Jiangling. Uh, Ping Yao. Yeah, I think they might be glitching when they all come together. That's panda. Okay. Oh, well, we got a panda. I think I drop wages down to normal. And then I just drop taxes down to high. Because I don't need the money, and that solves the problem straight away. Yeah, good. Okay. Make more silk, export that. Eh, don't really need the money. So I give to the Shasha Empire's going. Who else do I gift? Do I have enough housing? Uh, I might need one more house. That should do it. Shasha Empire grateful for weapons. Great. So we have a panda now. I suppose I should send the panda... Up north. And then wait a bit. No one even wants to invade me. The Liao Empire? Probably not 
that great. Let's gather information on the Liao Empire. They wouldn't even let my guy in just now. They were brutal. My option when I don't let someone in is, is execute, so I assume my emissary is dead. Yeah, this mission is sort of breezing along. We've been going for half an hour, um, which is sounds like a long time. <laughs> but actually for this game, it's pretty short and it's been pretty zero effort so far. Not zero effort, but it's easy. It's easy. I think this is possibly a calm before the storm in this dynasty. needs appetizing food. Minimum quality bland food. When did I do this? We should be able to have appetizing food here. Is that why I lost... Is that why my population went down? This whole area devolved. Oh, okay. Because this was set to not current quality appetizing food. There we go. Revolve all these houses, please. You're okay. Try it again. There we go. Good. I never gave tea to all these places. I guess we don't really need them. All right, we need another 70 people. We have extra housing for 186. That house there has not evolved. 6% unemployment, normal wages. My talents are required at the construction site. Okay, also, who else do we give a panda to? Like... Jiang Ding? No, who gave us a panda? Linan, maybe? Let's give you a panda. Alright, I think this might finish the clock tower though. Oh, that's such a nice sound. The, the stonework sound in this game is just really good. to see the new drama today. It's the talk of the town. Hmm. The patricians. It's such a nice sound. Such a, right? Stone quarry go clink clink. <laughs> that doesn't sound like stone. Yeah, it's it's very designed, but it's very nice to listen to, so that's that's good. Come watch me at the oh, That's an actor. It's bound to be another marvelous performance. Is this that's the theater pavilion, right? Because we disabled entertainment in this area. Because the pavilion provides right. I for, forgot I haven't built a pavilion for a long time. Well, we all know what the the YouTube thumbnail is going to be. It's going to be this, okay? Probably slightly zoomed in on this, right? Just so we don't have this grassy bit behind me here. I have so many weapons. Okay, this is from the Xia Xia Empire. Give me a vulture! I want a vulture. A Saiga Antelope! Not bad, not bad. Okay, great. You have the dragon. Celebrate. Good. Saiga Antelope. Great. Population milestone, 5,000. Wonderful. So now we have four animals. Now I know I can send Saiga antelopes further down. Uh, the Liao Empire, they need silk. So I can probably give a gift of silk or tea. You know, we just buy tea. Just give them a bunch of tea to the Liao Empire. Right? And also, I will give you... They're outside the desert, so the Saiga antelope should be new to them. Alright. 
Maybe they'll give us something else. We're building a zoo, yeah. I wish the zoo mechanic in Emperor could be expanded like Anno 1800. Actually set up a, a zoo. Like, that's one of the, the biggest things I think on how to build on the impressions formula is modular monuments. Uh, temple complexes in Pharaoh kind of got it a little bit, where you could build a temple complex and add on two bits, but it was very restricted, right? Um, but modular monuments, which is sort of like what they did in Anno 1800 with the zoo, right? It's it's a monument, but you build upon it. Was, it was almost like a mini planet zoo sort of experience. <laughs> <laughs> but Modular Monuments uh, uh, Foundation does that very well. You know, where the bigger you build it, the better the benefits and all of that. Right, I know it's not quite historical, but, you know, uh, you, you could fit it into history. Like, if you were building a Colosseum in Caesar 3, there is THE Colosseum, but every city had a Colosseum. So you could have a modular Colosseum monument that you build, which is not necessarily built to the Rome Colosseum, and it will still be kind of historically accurate, right? You, you could twist history. I mean, these games already twist history so much. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways you can actually build on the impressions formula. These masons are going really slow. Can I just... can I fit... Put three more masons down. We have unemployment anyway. There we go. Customizable Hippodrome, yeah. Like, that would be cool, right? Atrocity. Your emissary to the Liao Empire has been executed. The Liao Empire barbarously executed your emissary. Oh, apparently they didn't execute the last one. Okay. Can I conquer them? Conquer this city. Let's send like six forts. They've only got one shield. And we are sabotaging. All right. Go. Go conquer the Liao Empire. No real point? There, there's a point. <laughs> Satisfaction. Fly, my pretties. You all walk around like monkeys and can't stand still anyway. You guys don't believe me. Look how, the, how undisciplined troops are in Emperor. I'm gonna tell them all to move in formation and then stand right here. And we'll come back and see if they know how to stand in straight lines. The elite Song Jin Dynasty military. Alright. Caught a spy. Let's see. Alright. Stand in formation! You've had years of military training. Stand still. This is one of the reasons why I hate military and emperor. You have so little control of your units. To the point where they can't even just stand still. There's, let alone, there's no hold ground position. Right? The, the, the least is turtle. And they just can't stop. They just can't stop. Everyone just go home. Go home. It's things like that which make me say Pharaoh is the best game. I mean, Emperor is probably the prettiest though. When you really put effort into decorating your city, Emperor looks real nice. The clock tower is complete. What an engineering marvel you have built! This astronomical clock tower will keep us in time with the universe and help immensely with calendar predictions. 
And Shen Nong arrives? Oh, okay. Look at that. It's a clock tower. I don't really... How does this work? Is that the clock mechanism there? Those are... Is that... Are those... The solar system? You guys are gonna have to look up the history of this thing. Keeping precise time day and night proudly proclaims the unquestioned genius of our people. This is like Steve Jobs and Apple stores. Look at this Apple watch. We are certified geniuses. There's the history. Finished in 1092 by the official Su Song, the astronomical clock tower used sophisticated mechanisms to drive a clock and armillary sphere to help the emperor's officials make astronomical predictions. The clock announced quarter hours with a drum beat, and it struck a bell every two hours. That's an... Every quarter hour is a drum beat, but every two hours is a bell. Why every two hours? Building a clock tower requires stone, wood, and steel. Okay. <laughs> ah, look at this. We built a clock. That's how smart we are. Alright, so looking at our goals... How do we not have population 5,000? Did, did this area devolve again? This is just not filled in. Yeah, we have housing for 126 people. We only need another 12. So we just gotta keep the animals going. Um, I guess I just send Saiga Antelope sound, uh, south? You have a Saiga Antelope. What a spy. And then send the Saiga Antelope here. Just stagger the gifts going out. Look at this private area. Just for the clock tower. Next to the elite housing of the heavenly compounds. What are you guys eating, by the way? Fried shrimp cakes. That doesn't sound too luxurious, but I suppose... What foods are you eating? Bean curds, cabbage, millet, wheat. Do we not have any meat in this city? Our entire city is vegetarian? I guess the animals in our uh, menagerie are going to be safe then. Let's send out another Saiga antelope to Chengdu. Give me other animals. What is that guy coming back from? This is, uh, this is the... Oh, tea. Hmm. I made some oolong tea not too long ago. And we got this kind which became very almost caramel-like. If you really let it steep. I conquered the Liao Empire. It was loose leaf because... You know, uh, most fierce Gemazak. Your army was victorious at the Liao Empire. And its leader's Tai Su is ashamed. The Liao Empire now owes us tribute. Also. The bitter... What do you need? Silk? Tea? Alright. I'm gonna make you happy with a bunch of tea. I've got silkworms. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have we have quite a lot of silkworms. Look at them, they're just sitting around here. Uh, but yeah, that's actually a point. We could just have more weavers, but I remember this was a little bit of an issue with... I could just put them here. Artisans, weavers... Put down four more weavers there. Can we get our wages up again? That's 10%. Leave it on normal. Okay. That should use up so much silk, jeez. Okay, well. Sure. Sure. Have I ever played Grand Ages Rome? No, but people keep suggesting it to me, so I probably am gonna have to check that out at some point. 
along with Praetorians and Patricians. Those are two games, right? <laughs> There's all these old sort of historical city builders that I've never played. Lin An, grateful for Saiga Antelope. Happy New Year. Uh, you have the snake? Yes. Special gift. That gives me an animal, right? A Gobi Bear! Yes! I feel like we're actually gonna win soon. Right, because we now have five of six menagerie animals. Ah, a year came along, you have the snake, gave us a Gobi Bear. I've been handing out... Tribute paid? Money? Okay, great. Got a Gobi Bear. What's what's left? What's left? We don't have salamanders. We don't have vultures. We don't have tigers. What's the last one? Salamander, vulture, tiger. Can't remember what the last one is. Alligator? Ah. Um, so you know... Let's send... Gobi Bear to the Liao Empire? Maybe? We just need one more animal. Okay. Sent out Saiga antelopes. One animal comes in and we win. Our military is pretty strong on this map. How many forts we have? One, two, three, four, five. We got twelve. That's that's quite good. With a very stable city now. I really should stop building up to the edge of the map. You can't wall it off. Huh. Linan is here. Permit. A salamander! Yes! And that is our victory condition. Uh, let's accept the salamander. Thank you. Uh, Lilia Empire Victorious Warriors return. All right, they're all coming back as well. Great. And also looking at our menagerie now, we have six animals, which means we have everything that we need. And the clock tower built, no problem. And that should be victory. Any second now. Come on. Any second now. You have built Kaifeng into a shining beacon for the world to see all of the glories of the Song Dynasty. Nowhere in the world is there a city such as Kaifeng. Only here is scholarship so highly respected. Only in Kaifeng do the sciences and the arts reign supreme. Even the beasts of the land, sea, and air occupy a special place near and dear to our emperor's heart. Ah, well there you go. The luxuries of Kai Feng. A very straightforward mission. I didn't rush it and it took us 50 minutes, sure. Here's our final scores of everything. And that has been very nice. I expect all the remaining missions, which I think there's like three more missions after this, for this final dynasty. And I expect them to be much more difficult but anyway that's gonna be it for this mission thank you all so much for joining if you'd like to support the channel please do check out patreon.com slash gamezack support there reduces ads on youtube videos so thank you so much for the support there's also a humble bundle referral link and a merch store and please do join us on social media particularly twitter facebook instagram and the wonderful zackalites community my name has been gamezack thank you all so much for joining and i will see you in the next videos bye